equation is called Ampere's Law. It tells us that if there is a current flowing through a wire, there is a magnetic field surrounding the wire. It states that the surface integral of the magnetic field is equal to the permeability constant multiplied by the current enclosed in the wire. This equation can be used to solve for the magnetic field, where the magnetic field is equal to the permeability constant multiplied by the enclosed current divided by the circumference of a circle. This means that the magnetic field strength increases if the current increases, but it decreases if the radius increases. The direction of the magnetic field can be determined using a right-hand rule. Your thumb points in the direction of the current, and your fingers curl in the direction of the magnetic field. If the current is flowing straight up, the magnetic field rotates around the wire in a counterclockwise direction. If it rotates clockwise if the current is straight down. Compasses work because of the magnetic field from the Earth, which goes from north to south. These field lines uh, align with the compass. However, the magnetic field lines from the enclosed current in the wire interferes with the compass and can cause it to deflect and not point north anymore. bulbs, four switches, and two outlets. Our ammeter is connected in series. A series circuit is when all of the components are in a row on one wire. The voltmeter is connected in parallel. A parallel circuit has components on different branches of wire. The ammeter allows us to measure the total amount of current flowing through the circuit. The voltmeter allows us to measure the voltage drop across each component in the circuit. A motor works with just two magnets, a loop of wire and a battery or some other source of current. The two magnets are placed apart from each other with opposite poles in the middle. This causes a magnetic field between the two for, from the north pole of one to the south pole of the other. Then the wire loop is placed between the magnets. Because there is no current flowing through the wire, nothing will happen. But once the current is added, it will start to spin. The current causes a moving charge through the wire. When the charges are moving perpendicular to the magnetic field, they experience a force acting upon them. When they are close to the north pole, they are pushed up, and when they are close to the south pole, they are pushed down. These forces cause the wire loop to rotate. Every half rotation, the current is switched using a commutator. This keeps the direction of rotation constant. A generator works in a similar but opposite way. In a generator, some action, such as pedaling the bike, causes the loop to rotate in the magnetic field. This rotation changes the magnetic flux through the loop. Magnetic flux is calculated by B A cosine theta, where B is the strength of the magnetic field, A is the area inside the loop, and theta is the angle between the magnetic field and the area of vector perpendicular to the loop. The change in magnetic flux results in a voltage. This is calculated by dividing the change in magnetic flux by the change in time. Greetings, I would like to discuss about this apparatus. It's a plastic device which holds a voltmeter in metal plates that are touching both sides of the battery. Once there is a current flowing through the wire, a magnet is placed below the circular loop in which it will create a magnetic field, where the loop will begin to spin and thus is the essence of an electric motor.